Hey guys, before we move on, we need to understand and create the structure for this demo project. We will use roles to make our automation scripts reusable. Here is a list of the roles that we will create. Web server role will install and configure Apache service to be installed on web servers. Java role will be needed to install Java, which is a prerequisite for ELK stack. Add Elastic repo will add Elasticsearch repository onto the target machine and this repository will then be used to install various applications. Elasticsearch role will install and configure Elasticsearch and expect security onto the target machine. Likewise, Kibana role will install and configure Kibana GUI client onto the target machine. Next, we have some beats modules and for each beat, we'll have a separate role. In the end, we have two roles that are non-item potent in nature. These roles have some setup commands that are non-item potent. Therefore, I have hosted all these commands inside these two roles so that all the other roles can remain item potent and can be reused. Now, let's have a look at how these roles will be deployed across our servers. First, on the single instance Elk server, we will install Java and then we'll add the Elasticsearch repo. Next, we'll add different roles to install Elasticsearch, Kibana and all other beats. One thing to note is that Heartbeat will only be installed on ELK server. In the end, we'll configure beats module to complete the setup. On the web server, we'll first add the Apache role and then add Elasticsearch repo followed by installation of various beats and then in the end, we'll configure the module for each beat. With this, we've come to the end of this theory lecture. I will see you in the next one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.